Right, so here's the helmet after one coat of the uh, fiberglass resin on the outside as well as the inside. No fiberglass on this yet. This has just been coated, as I said, with one layer of resin. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to soak into that cardstock paper. Uh, you can see how it soaks in, just saturates that paper with resin. And when that hardens up, it's going to make this a lot more rigid so that uh, you can start laying your fiberglass inside. Here's the fiberglass resin in the back. Uh, I had the, uh, the Bondo resin just laying around. Just the cheap uh, chip brushes. Basically mixed it up, brushed it on inside and out. Use some of these uh, small uh, little artist brushes from the dollar store just to get into the hard to reach areas here in these teeth or these gears in the side and around the eyes and on the inside as well with the teeth and the eyes uh, it just helps to get in all those little tight areas you want to completely cover this entire thing inside and out with resin and go ahead and let that harden uh, when you mix up the resin make sure that you follow uh, the directions and add just as much hardener as you need uh, if you don't it's going to gum up it's going to harden on you before you can even do anything with it. Only okay. mix up small batches of that and uh, just br uh, brush it on once it saturates that paper. I mean the paper, it's it's still soft. You can still uh, bend it around. You see back here, I can still push on that paper. You can still see it bending, uh, but it's a lot you more rigid. Start laying the fiberglass on the inside now. Here's a quick tip for you guys though, before you start fiberglassing, once you have your layer of resin on the inside and the outside of your helmet, uh, if you look on your helmet and there's a couple areas maybe that need adjusted a little bit, maybe things aren't perfectly symmetrical or say you have a little dent in the top, uh, before you go fiberglassing that, you can fix it for the most part. Take your helmet, whatever part that you need to work on, and just get a hair dryer heat up the area for about 20 seconds hold the hair dryer you know maybe an inch or two away from it and just heat it up and you can reach on the inside if it needs pushed out if it has a little dent you can reach in there and just sort of push it out and hold it uh, for a minute or two until it cools down and once it cools down it'll hold that You're shape. you be able to do this after you fiberglass it so do it now it'll save you a lot of bondo work in the end Fiberglass is what's going to reinforce the helmet. Uh, basically, if you just use the fiberglass resin, uh, it's not strong enough. It's not going to hold up. And over time, it could actually crack and just start to crumble off. So uh, adding fiberglass is what gives the helmet its strength, is what gives the, uh, the resin uh, all of its strength. So I have some, uh, some fiberglass cloth here. This is how it comes, just in a little bag like this. Uh, I think there's about eight square feet in this little bag. Uh, it's just a woven cloth. Uh, there's two different types of fiberglass you can get. This is fiberglass cloth. You can also get fiberglass mat. Uh, the only difference is being that the, uh, the cloth is woven together. in sort of this square pattern going both directions uh, at 90, 90 degrees to each other. Whereas the fiberglass matting is basically just all these little strands pulled apart and scattered all different ways and kind of made into a mat the same way. Uh, they're both just as strong, uh, just depends on what you'd like to use. I think the mat's a little bit uh, harder to work with than the, uh, the cloth that I have here, so that's what I'll be using. Uh, so we're going to layer the uh, fiberglass cloth just on the inside. Uh, I started doing a little bit last night. You can see the uh, the resin here. There is fiberglass all underneath that resin on both sides. That's this uh, these teeth here. That portion of it. 
they're hollow, so I wanted to make sure I got some uh, some fiberglass and some resin all so in I there. Have a couple pieces here already cut just into little squares. Uh, we're going to be using the same resin, just mixing some of this up. Uh, basically, I'm just going to flip this over here. I'm going to take a bit of the resin once it's mixed up and brush it on the areas. After that's laid in there, I'm going to take a piece of the fiberglass cloth, lay it down, and I'm going to get some more resin on my brush and sort of just pat this all down, uh, coating, saturating that whole piece of cloth with that resin. Uh, whenever you do this, you don't want to really brush it on. Uh, that's just going to pull apart all these strands and move the uh, piece of cloth all around on you. You want to uh, get a lot of resin on there and dab it on and push that cloth down into all the little contours and all the areas. Trying to keep the air bubbles down. Uh, pushing down, dabbing on it, that's going to get all the resin down into all the little nooks and crannies, all the little uh, different weave patterns there in the uh, fiberglass cloth and that's what's going to make it super strong. If you do get a little bit of an air bubble here and there don't worry about it just go ahead and let it harden and once it's hardened you can get in there with a dremel and a little cutoff wheel and you can sort of cut that little air bubble open and fill more resin so I'm in get it. some resin mixed up and I'll bring back the video I'll show you uh, a couple pieces getting laid in it's the same thing for the entire inside of the helmet and once that's all done the inside is uh, ready for the next step and we can move on alright I got my resin laid out here I have about an eighth of a cup two ounces here I'm going to add my hardener 25 drops Twenty one, two, three, four, five. All right. You have to kind of work quick with this resin if you haven't noticed that by now. Just going to give this a quick uh, mix up here. Wow, that's really strong stuff. You won't forget a smell like this once you're done with this project. You'll know if you smell fiberglass resin. Alright, hopefully I can work around the camera here. Flip this over. Uh, I think I'll start in the middle. Just going to get some resin here, like I said. Brush that on. I know it's going to be kind of hard to tell. Let me move this. I can catch the light a little bit. Gonna brush this on. Try and get it in all the little areas you can. I see people using uh, spray adhesive to lay their fiberglass mat in. Uh, that's just another expense you need to go and buy spray adhesive. Just stick a little bit of resin in there, and that mat's gonna stick on there perfectly try and overlap all of your pieces do one piece at a time once you get it in overlap the next piece so I just got some more resin here on my brush and I'm patting this down getting that fully saturated with resin trying to get it tucked all into these little corners ridges get that pushed down Push this way. Get a little bit more resin here. Try and avoid those air bubbles as much as you can. You don't have to get every little strand down, but uh, get as much as you can. Whatever's sticking up when you're all done with this can always be snipped off or dremeled off. Alright, so we got that piece. Let me grab the next piece here. Overlap it. Got a little more resin on my brush. Just start patting that down as well. It's amazing how much structure and rigidity this cloth adds. Get 
it all tucked in there. Triangle pieces are good for working in tight areas or tight contours rather than square pieces. Okay, so that's just about down now. If you can't get all the strands pushed down, just wait a couple minutes till the resin starts to harden up, sort of, uh, sort of starts to tack up a little bit. Then you can usually push those strands down, and they'll stick. Okay, I'll get one more piece in here. Pretty self-explanatory, right? You're going to do this to the entire inside of the helmet. You can add as many layers of this fiberglass cloth and resin as you want. Uh, I'm going to get this one layer fully lining the helmet and see how rigid that makes it. Uh, judging by what I already have done, that's probably going to be enough. But if you want, feel free. If you want to add five layers of cloth to this, go right ahead. Uh, it's just going to make it even more stronger. Be aware though, it is going to make it heavier too, so if you want a really, really lightweight helmet, you don't want 30 layers of fiberglass in it. Right, so that's down. That's basically the process. I'll bring the video back once I have this all done.